and how time. What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of It's Howling Time with the Howling Wolf. Here, we're gonna give you selections for February fifth, two thousand and twenty. The track that I'm gonna do it is gonna be the Fairgrounds race number nine, going six furlongs for special accredited mating claiming ten thousand dollars for a purse of fourteen thousand dollars. We got a field of 10 running. <clears throat> I'm going to be giving you my two talk selections plus my horse to watch. The morning line favorite is the number 6, Seely at morning line odds at 3 to 1, which is also my top selection. So my top selection for race number 9 at the fairgrounds, it is the number 6, Seely at morning line odds at 3 to 1. Is by Star Guitar out of a Irish Open Mare. Last time ran on January 20th at the fairgrounds on a going six furlongs on a fast track for a maiden special weight $45,000. Came out seventh by seven and a half lengths. Had to go five to six wide in the turn and didn't have enough in there to, to win. The, the time before that, it ran on December 18th at the fairgrounds. Going six furlongs on a fast track for a maiden claiming $10,000. Came out second by half a length. Around the three wide turn, led up a bit, and then lost the ground right into the stretch. Lost to Taffy's little boy. The last time, the last time before that, it ran on April 11th at Evangeline Downs. Going five furlongs on a fast track for main and claiming $10,000. Came up fifth by seven and a quarter lengths. Was improving the, went around the turn, was back of the race in the pack of the pack and just came up strong, was gaining ground into the stretch but didn't have enough into it but was improving the, the position. The workouts have been on January 7th. At the fairgrounds, going four furlongs on a fast track, did it in 49.60 seconds breezing, was the 20th best out of the 35 workouts that day. Then the last workout was on January 14th at the fairgrounds, going four furlongs on a fast, on a good track, did it in 52.80 seconds breezing, was the 10th best out of the 13 workouts that day. For my my issue I like with this horse that it may come up and probably even be lower than three to one is that it ran at its main special weight. It did drop a bit in class. It's staying at the same type of level. Let's just see if it could get doesn't have to go too far wide. Maybe stay in a bit, try to get inside. It's keeping Sean Bridgman hand aboard, which knows how to get the horse into position, especially with the drop a bit in class. And getting that pace just needs to stay stalking the pace instead of trying to be the pace setter. And then make the run into the turn, into the stretch also to make it up for the lead. So again, for my top selection in race number nine at the fairgrounds, it is the number six, Seeley at morning line odds at three to one. Now for my second choice. It is going to be the number 7 Royal Galaxy at Moreland Odds at 10 at 5 to 1 is by Galaxy Greeley's Galaxy out of a Royal Academy mare. Last time ran on January 9th at the fairgrounds on a fast track going 6 furlongs for mating claiming $10,000. Came up fourth by 2 and a 3 quarters length. Got bumped hard and had to check, but was gaining a little bit of ground into the stretch, but not enough to get it for a good placing. The time before that, it did it on December 14th at the fairgrounds, 
on the turf, on a firm turf, going a mile distance for a maiden special weight, $40,000. Came up six by five and a quarter lengths. Had to go three wide into the first turn. Then had to go even more wider out. And then came up second to the placing and then just didn't have enough into it to get that sixth place. Then the last time it ran was on November 20th at Delta Downs going a mile distance on a fast track for a maiden claiming $10,000. Came up fifth by 13 and a half lengths. Was well, an even trip all the way through. Was fourth and lost a bit the ground to get fifth into the stretch. The workouts have been on August 6th at Evangeline Downs going four furlongs on a fast track did in 51 seconds breezing gallop was the second best out of the four workouts that day. Then the last workout was on August 23rd at Evangeline Downs going three furlongs on a fast track did it in 37.80 seconds breezing gallop was the 8th best out of the 10 workouts that day. With what I see with this one, it hasn't worked out since probably a little gallops here and there or just a gallop walking around, you know, just to get it nice and comfy. It just needed the rest. But also, too, it, the last time it ran in January, it just did it and came up fourth but got bumped hard. If it gets a nice clean trip here, you can see him seeing him getting up there hard and Chantel Sutherland getting the horse up into position well to hopefully get into the money. So if, does, if it gets a nice clear trip, stay off a bit and lay off and get up there, maybe be the stocking pace instead of being back. You see her seeing Chantel Sutherland getting Royal Galaxy up into a good placing and so forth. So even possibly the placing or even the win. So again, for my second choice, it is the number seven Royal Galaxy at Morning Line Odds at five to one. <laughs> and now it's time for my horse to watch. My horse to watch is going to be the number 10, Stormy Court. Stormy Court is at Moreland Odds at 8-1. to one. It is a first-time starter. The workouts have been on December 21st at the fairgrounds going four furlongs on a sloppy track, did it in 48.80 seconds breezing, was the ninth best out of the 26 workouts that day. Then the, last wor the following workout was on January 5th, at the fairgrounds, going three furlongs on a fast track, did it in 37.80 seconds breezing gallop, was the 10th best out of the 15 workouts that day. Then the following workout was on January 14th at the fairgrounds, going five furlongs on a good track, did it in 1 minute point zero three point eight zero seconds breezing, was the 8th best out of the 8 workouts that day. Then for the last workout, it was on January 22nd going at the fairgrounds going five furlongs on a fast track. Did it in one minute point zero three point eight zero seconds breezing was the 13th best out of the 15 workouts that day. What I see with this one to be a one to watch is that it has some good workouts. Maybe a little slow on the five furlong workouts, but... Maybe if you see that the coming from the outside, you'll see it coming off, maybe being the last, but maybe with the pedigree, you should read that if it's a kind of nice track to maybe a little wetness on it, you'll see Stormy Court making a move and it's getting James Graham as a 16% jockey. You'll see him getting up and getting the horse up into position well. To hopefully come on strong to end the money. So again, for my horse to watch. In race number 9 at the fairgrounds. It is the number 10. Stormy Court at Moyline Odds at 8 to 1.
So then, to recap my selections, my top selection is the number six, Sealy, and Royal and Oz at three to one. My second choice is the number seven, Royal Galaxy, and Royal and Oz at five to one. And for my horse to watch, it is the number ten, Stormy Court, at Royal and Oz at eight to one. And remember, when you're cashing with the wolf, it's how. time. Good luck everyone and let's cash in those tickets. I hope everyone has a great day at handicapping. If you guys like to follow me on Facebook, my Facebook page is Howling Wolf Sports and More where I post most of my selections for a lot of tracks or maybe some also some also some quarter horse track, the Los Alamitos and also some harness tracks. So if you guys like to follow me there, you guys can. And also on Twitter, my handle is Howler92. You can see I post my selections there too. So I hope everyone has a great day at handicapping and let's make some money.